Today, I'm going to be explaining to you guys exactly how the zombies work inside World War II Zombies. Well, maybe exactly is a little bit of a stretch, but regardless, I could give you a pretty good explanation for how these guys work, which is something that we would actually come to expect from World War II zombies, because if you look at everything else in the mode, you look at the pack punch, the mystery box, wall buys, or even the doors, we all have explanations for exactly how these work, and even the point system, which is a video I made a while back if you guys are interested in it, hopefully it'll be on screen right now, but of course this would make you think that they have an explanation for even the zombies and of course that they do and we've kind of known about exactly how these things work ever since the darkest shore or maybe the darkest shore just confirmed it for us and I really don't know why I hadn't made this video or really anybody hadn't made this video on these zombies but regardless I'm working on it now but one thing I gotta mention real quick is that this idea actually came up in one of the comments late recently actually and it was actually a comment and hopefully I'll find it and put on screen but currently I'm not able to find it but he was asking how are the zombies going to spread if they can't replicate or something along those lines and this really caught my attention because if you guys are aware of how the zombies work and if you guys aren't no problem because I'll be explaining a little bit this actually meets us with a problem and you guys will see why that's a problem after I'm done explaining this but with that said let's actually dive into this explanation so before we can actually talk about the zombies themselves, we have to talk about what powers them up. And yes, I said powers them up because it it is very much powering them up. And of course, this has to do with what some people would call this game's version or World War II's version of 115. And this force is actually called Geistcraft, and I'm sure you guys have heard this name before. And there's actually one of three places that you could actually get Geistcraft energy from, and that's Barbarossa's blade, pommel, and hilt, or just Barbarossa's sword, because those make up the sword. And how this was actually originally discovered, at least what is relevant to us, it was actually discovered by a mixture of Klaus and Dr. Straub, because in Middleburg, or the Final Reich, that's where the hilt was found, and Straub was able to actually siphon off some of the Geistcraft energy coming from the hilt, and originally he was only using this for things like the wall buys, or just powering up doors, or even the pack bunch, or something like that but I then an accident actually happened and what exactly happened during was, one of my early experiments an attempt to draw power from the hilt a cable became overheated and snapped it struck a pair of guards they were killed instantly they were dead and then they were not I watched as the first soldier began to switch violently and then began walking towards me and the corpse intent was clear it meant to and this is me. when dr straub realized that he could use this guy's craft energy to actually bring people back to life of course in the form of a zombie and he realized that this needed to charge the people constantly because one strike of it will not be able to keep them alive for a long time. So we actually made the Geistcraft batteries, or these smaller versions of the batteries, because you can actually see Geistcraft batteries really littered all over the Final Reich. You see them being used for almost every single Tesla gun upgrade quest or even on your characters and this is something that I find actually quite fascinating because if you look at the character model of any of the characters you play as they actually have a little pouch on their leg or somewhere nearby and you could actually see they have one of these guys craft batteries and this is used for various things for our characters but we're not really focused on that but we're actually focused on how they're relating to the zombies and of course after Straub created these batteries he actually inserted them into dead corpses and this of course brought the zombies back to life by powering them up with this guy's craft energy and we know this is true from multiple examples and it actually explains a lot of things because in the past in zombies games that we've had you always had to kill zombies near things and this would suck up their souls or something like that to power it up and this made little to no sense 
but over here it actually makes a lot of sense because most of the time what you're doing you're powering up the thing you are killing the zombies near because you want to get the guys craft energy that is inside the zombies and transfer it to whatever it may be that you're powering up whether it be another guys craft battery a larger one or even the ripsaw or something similar to it that is what your goal is to do is to just go and fill it up with guys craft energy and you're getting this from the zombies it's made even more apparent inside the darkest shore when you are using the ripsaw because you are able to rip the battery straight out of the zombies the battery that Stroud put in every single one of these zombies, you can strip it straight out of their body, of course using the ripsaw. And this is when it became very apparent, this is exactly how the zombies work. That's pretty much the explanation for these zombies, but there are some things I want to touch on, and one of those is actually something I realized while making sure I knew everything I knew before recording this video, and it had to do with the actual definition of zombies, because when I realized that these zombies don't exactly work like traditional zombies, like they're not passed on through infection, and even after they kill somebody, they can't infect somebody to become a zombie. When they kill somebody, that person just stays dead. Unlike traditional zombies that you see in things like, I guess, The Walking Dead or The Resident Evil, these things will of course kill people and infect other people and this will grow their population. And of course, this isn't how these zombies work, which I thought, well maybe, wait, are we even dealing with zombies inside World War II zombies? Because I thought the definition of zombies had to do with infections or something like that. But that's actually the opposite. Most other zombies like Resident Evil, like I said, the ones that infect people aren't actually zombies because the actual definition of zombies says the corpses are brought back to life in the form or using rather witchcraft or supernatural forces. That much more applies to the guy's craft energy than some random infection or bacteria whatever it may be inside all the other ones which is kind of cool which I never realized before but regardless another thing I want to mention and this is again maybe a little off topic maybe it's not but it has to do with how the zombies are going to work now because I think we've come to the conclusion that there's actually a finite amount of zombies because Straub couldn't have made an infinite amount of zombies in his time being alive even if you gave him 10 years you can only make so many zombies you can only have so many corpses to make into zombies so this would imply that the zombies are finite so how exactly are the zombies going to continue to existing all you have to do is just kill them off and then they'll be done with because they cannot replicate all by themselves they need guys craft energy to stay alive so I'm just curious on how this is going to affect the future of the story and I honestly think that this, this is what the person at the start of the video the comment I was talking about at the start of the video was was implying and it really also made me question exactly how it's going to work in the future unless someone continued making the zombies in Straub's place I just don't see it as that likely but anyways that's about it from the video tell me what you guys think about this you guys like this explanation do you guys actually like that they're giving explanations to everything or would you like things to say stay a little mystery and let us figure it out or something like that or just tell me how you like how things are really told inside zombies but if you guys did enjoy the video and you actually want to stay in tune for more content very similar to this or at least somewhat similar to this then go ahead do all the normal YouTube stuff like subscribe bell share again Again, I've said this in the last 30 videos, but please do bell because that is very important now just because YouTube decided it was. But anyways, I'm going to go and I will catch you guys on my next video.